Biden signs executive order designed to unleash transhumanist hell on America and the world. Hey folks, JT here, Serenity Farms, prepping with a scary, scary update. So, if anyone needed proof that the powers pushing the levers behind the mindless moron who sits in the Oval Office are fully on board with the WEF and the United Nations agenda of biomedical tyranny and transhumanism, look no further than the executive order that Pedo Joe signed on Monday, September 12th. By quietly getting Biden's signature on the document, his handlers may have given us the most ominous sign yet that we stand on the threshold of a technocratic one-world beast system. Prepare to make your stand because it's about to get much more intense. The document's Orwellian title, Executive Order on Advancing Biotechnology and Biomanufacturing Innovation for a Sustainable, Safe, and Secure American Bioeconomy, will assure that its significance will fly right over the head of 99% of the media, even the conservative media. They will read it and yawn. I plead with everyone reading this article to please not make the same mistake. Because of the arcane scientific language in which the document is written, even most of those who take the time to read it and study it, I assure you Biden didn't, will not fully grasp what is being ordered by the White House. So, a patriot, Put it in plain English for us. Let me read between the lines for America. Biden's September 12, 2022 executive order declares that Americans must surrender all human rights that stand in the way of transhumanism. Clinical trial safety standards and informed consent will be eradicated as they stand in the way of universally unleashing Gene editing technologies needed to merge humans with AI in order to achieve the societal goals of the NWO. Crimes against humanity are not only legal but mandatory. Here is one of the most disturbing excerpts from the executive order. Quote. We need to develop genetic engineering technologies and techniques to be able to write circuitry for cells and predictably program biology in the same way in which we write software and program computers, including through computing tools and artificial intelligence. Here are just a few highlights from the document. The term biotechnology means technology that applies to or is enabled by life sciences innovation or product development. The term biomanufacturing means the use of biological systems to develop products, tools, and processes at commercial scale. The term bioeconomy means economic activity derived from the life sciences, particularly in the areas of biotechnology and biomanufacturing, and includes industries, products, services, and the workforce. The term biological data means the information, including associated descriptors, derived from the structure, function, or process of a biological system that is measured, collected, or aggregated for analysis. The term key R&D areas includes fundamental R&D of emerging biotechnologies, including engineering biology, predictive engineering of complex biological systems, including the designing, building, 
testing and modeling of entire living cells, cell components, or cellular systems. Quantitative and theory-driven multidisciplinary research to maximize convergence with other enabling technologies and regulatory science, including the development of new information, criteria, tools, models, and approaches to inform, assist regulatory decision-making. These R&D priorities should be coupled with advanced in predictive modeling, data analytic, I'm sorry, analytics, artificial intelligence, bioinformatics, high performance, and other advanced computing, computing systems, meteorology and data-driven standards, and other non-life science enabling technologies. There's more. The term life sciences means all sciences that study or use living organisms, viruses, or their products, including all disciplines of biology and all applications of the biological sciences, including biotechnology, genomics, proteonomics, bioinformatics, and pharmaceutical and biomedical research and techniques but excluding scientific studies associated with radioactive materials or toxic chemicals that are not of biological origin or synthetic analogs of toxins. All right, so what this means is that human beings will be data mined for their most personal possession, their DNA and genomic properties, and the government will offer you no protection it will actually be encouraged and seen as a green light for biomedical practitioners worldwide it is the goal of the technocratic proprietors of agenda 2030 to catalog map out and monitor every living thing on earth all right you see what we're up against. This has been the plan all along. Whatever is in those things is going to be used for this. It's already there now. The 5G is the technology that they can use to activate, uh, make it work, make people who got it work we're not really sure, but we know from their own statements, like uh, Harari there, Schwabi's right-hand man, that one of his more infamous quotes is that humans are hackable machines and we no longer need them, okay? They don't want real mechanical objects walking around. They're very, very expensive hard to maintain when they already have hackable humans. Obviously, some will be kept around to reproduce, to make more hackable humans. I don't know if babies born of people who did the deed are already, um, you know, uh, contaminated. They may be. I don't know how they can't be. If both parents were already contaminated, then they most certainly have to be, wouldn't you think? So this is where this was all headed. I, we know it was part of the, of the scheme for 2020. Because they knew with 45 still in position that um, none of this could have happened. I am still extremely disappointed that he cannot come out and condemn what we all know to be poison. He, uh, he just won't do it. And in fact, doubles down when, when pressed on it. I'm also very disturbed that 
Kushner, his son-in-law, who I've hated right from the very beginning, says that he wants to live forever, believes in transhumanism, and he was made the director of Warp Speed. That's very troublesome. Um, you know, this is, according to the author, and I agree, a spiritual battle. And he states, we must continue to expose the sinister agenda that these globalist predators did their best to keep hidden with a scientific vernacular that they know we will wow and mystify the average person. And boy, weren't millions and millions of people uh, blindly and gleefully just rolled up their sleeve for something that they had no clue what was in it, yet if you offered them a drink out of a cup they couldn't see in, they would be, what's in this? That's how stupid this is, all right? So this is where we're at. Got a little long, but you needed to hear that and understand what's going on and what we're in for. And hopefully this video stays up. So like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, Jake T. Sign up.